thought it weird. Hi, I'm Grace and I'm a real life mermaid. And I'm Remy and I am a regular person. <laughs> I work as a full-time mermaid. I run my own agency of professional mermaids and we do children's parties, aquarium shows, corporate events, that sort of thing. I have always wanted to be a mermaid ever since I was a child. You know it's not necessarily a realistic thing that you'd want to be, but I did it anyway and I trained as a freediver and started from there. How long can you hold your breath for? I've got a static PB of four minutes. Four minutes? I think I could do 20 seconds. I've got contact lenses, does this mean I can't be a mermaid? I think people are trying to invent like uh, goggles that look like mermaid glasses or something. Do you mermaids wear glasses? Uh, uh, there are a couple. <laughs> so there are lots of different levels to mermaid makeup. Often when you're doing children's parties, it'll just kind of be bright and colourful. And then of course for aquariums, it has to be specifically tested makeup to make sure it's marine safe. But then if you're doing a corporate land gig, then you can kind of go more elaborate. Can I ask, how do you do a land gig if you're wearing a tail? We either get wheeled in or often carried. I'm gonna start wearing a fin to work so people can carry me everywhere. <laughs> Quick question, are there any mermen? Yes, lots of mermen. Because I've just read a book, fascinating book, about a woman who falls in love with and has lots of hot sex with a merman. And now I'm like into mermen. I'll grab the name of the book off you after the end. Do you know some mermen <laughs> that you can introduce me to? I do, I know a few. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna have to look the part first though, aren't yes, I? Yes, yes. Let's get Should into it. Should we do it? it? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Start with the eyeshadow, it's normally where I start. Ooh, there's a lot of blues there. Can I just say there's even mermaid brushes? brushes. <laughs> yeah. I'm into it. I think we're gonna go for this one here first. So we're gonna put it all over the lid and then we're gonna take it darker afterwards. And it's because this green matches the tail, right? Yes. Okay, so it's important to match your eyeshadow to your tail. When you finish that side, we're gonna take a light purple and we're gonna do our kind of cut crease and slightly above. Oh, this doesn't look that great on me. No, it does. Don't worry, we're gonna brighten it up in a minute, so. Okay. We're gonna brighten this up even yeah. more. <laughs> I'm scared. I feel like I'm just gonna get ripped to shreds in the comments by actual makeup artists. But I think the fact that I've said that disclaimer, hopefully they can be nice <laughs> to me. We apologize to all makeup artists. Yeah. So now we're gonna take the deep purple and we're gonna kind of put it in a little V, so it's gonna kind of go across our crease here and then into... So almost like a backwards C or, yeah. a, or a V. My usual steps with makeup are, this is going wrong, what have I done? And then at the end, it looks good somehow. That's my approach to life. Yeah. This is going horribly, this is going horribly. Somehow it works out okay. So this is technically called a holographic eyeshadow topper. It's just a creamy eyeshadow that's really metallic and green and I'm just gonna pop it on the center of my lid and then dab it out. So I'll just kind of put a line of it there. It is very mermaidy, isn't it? It's like shimmery, glittery water. Yeah. I'm just dabbing it. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. It smells like PVA glue though. Does it? I've yeah. never sniffed it to be honest. Well you probably shouldn't, but. The last step uh, for the eyeshadow bit is I just put a little bit of light colour in the corners of our eyes. Mm -hmm. This kind of just brightens mm. your eyes up. I feel like I look a bit alien chic. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Are those aliens? No, I guess they're not. I love eyeliner, but I can't breathe. I can't breathe when I do my eyeliner. I have to hold my breath. I'm not breathing. See, these aren't matching at all. This one's sharper, this one's more curvy. It will have to do. That's what I always say when I finish my makeup, it will have to do. And then we're gonna do mascara. Do I look like a mermaid? You do kind of look like an alien. I look like an alien, don't I? Well, if I don't end up looking like a sexy mermaid, maybe I'll look like a sexy alien. And I'll take either. We're actually gonna contour with colour instead of with standard contouring. So I'm gonna have bright green cheekbones. Green, yeah, green under your cheekbones and green down your neck as green well. Green down my neck? Yeah. Ooh. And then we'll add the glitter in sequence. Okay, cool, I'm up for it. Is this right? Yes. Can 
Can I just say that contouring with green is probably the most difficult thing I've ever had to do. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And then once you're happy with that, bring that same green and literally going to go along the jawbone and bring it down. Creating a green beard. Yes. I feel like I'm colouring in my face. <laughs> this is what's happening. And then the only other thing I do is I do bring it in on my forehead a little bit as well. So you just kind of blend green a little bit from your hairline. Framing my face with green eyeshadow. So glitter is a bit of a controversy because obviously it is a microplastic. So there is an alternative called eco glitter, but it's, it's less damaging than standard glitter. You know, everybody obviously has a responsibility to think about like being more environmentally friendly and safe and stuff. But I guess mermaids are almost like ambassadors for that. Yeah, right? yeah, that's the whole idea. So I'm going to start with one big sequin, kind of here, like kind of where the glitter starts, and then I'm going to bring the small sequins down. Down. Okay. And then we just need to put on some lipstick. So I'm going to do a dab of lipstick, pat on the eyeshadow colour that I want. Yeah. That's quite cool. That's the makeup done. Mm -hmm. So we need to get you in a tail now. You want to wear a tail? We need to put <gasps> tails on. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to so be do a that. real mermaid. Yes. Tails on, I'm Tails guessing. on. And then are we just going to cut back to when we've got tails on? Mm -hmm. Cool. There you go. <laughs> Shall I take off my boots to get? Uh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wear my boots and a fin. Duh. God. <laughs> there you go. Right, so we lift your heels up for me. Wow, this, is, this isn't easy. <laughs> Oh my there God, you go. this is like a bodycon outfit. You're a mermaid. Wow. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. But as long as I look cool. <laughs> this? <laughs> there you go, mermaid. I'm a bloody mermaid. Yeah. You know, very elegant mermaid. Very modest mermaid. Am I doing it? Kind of. This really hurts. It does. It is all Ow. in your core, I'm afraid. I don't think I'm cut out to be a mermaid. Oh. I can. I can do the look, maybe. 